so hello friends uh, welcome back to our project library management system so in the previous video we did the back end part uh, the mysql part tables we created the tables admin table book table and sap table okay uh, uh, let me show you that we created the database uh, we created the database library and in that we created tables let me show you all the tables first table we created was admin so this was the admin table and uh, then we created the table books so this was the books table and after that we created uh, the table staff okay so let me show you that as well so these were the three tables that we created in the previous video and today we will be moving back to the uh, front end part in the front end part we did these things we created the uh, first of all we created login page and then after that we created the dashboard so today we are going to write the code for this login page okay so let me show you that uh, this is the login page this was the design that we made and today we are going to uh, get the code for it uh, we are going to uh, make all the connections between the between our uh, front end part and back end part that is we would we will be connecting these uh, netbeans project and uh, the mysql thing so for that first of all we need to add the you know connector jar uh, that is let me show you this uh, here in the library part you can see there is jdk 18 default this is a connector uh, which connects the uh, MySQL and the NetBeans project. Okay, so it it is not present in this library uh, from uh, automatically. So we need to like uh, add this um, manually. So you can do this by like right clicking here and add jar folder and uh, just select this like uh, search for it where it is present in your computer if it is not present then you will have to download it okay so you can uh, download it a uh, mysql connector jar and then you know you just have to click it over here and you have to click open okay so it will uh, be loaded here and now you will be able to make the connections so now let's go to the coding part uh, I actually, I've already uh, like uh, done the coding uh, to save your time. So I'll just show you those codes and uh, I'll try to, you know, tell you everything about that. So the login thing, this is the block where we have to do all the coding. So first of all, uh, see, we need to make connections. Okay. So for that, uh, see over here first. This is, these are the statements that are required for the connection. Connection, conf, uh, like this is a um, uh, variable, okay. This is just a variable name. You can take it uh, as uh, for your choice. So I have taken conf and then driver manager dot get connection. Uh, this function helps you to, uh, you know, connect with that MySQL, your uh, database. So here, URL in the URL field, uh, you have this. I've already taken URL. Uh, this is the URL. Uh, this contains the address where your uh, MySQL project is uh, stored. Okay, so I'm using the local host because it is on my uh, desktop only. So that's why I've given this as local host, and uh, the port is three three zero six. It may be same for you as well. Uh, if you are using the same local host and this library is the database name that I have created in MySQL. So I created the database with the name library. So I have written library over here and uh, 
rest of the things is uh, same for everyone so yeah and then uh, the second thing i've taken my sql user as root because uh, uh, my account uh, i'm using the root account over here in my mysql so it is uh, this root okay uh, and then the mysql password that uh, uh, the password that i use to uh, like log into my mysql account so you need to give uh, that uh, uh, password over here okay and uh, this password is the password that i am getting from the uh, user like here this password uh, just see once the variable name is password so i am taking this input over here uh, password dot get password and i am converting it to string because it is not of the format string it is uh, a password like uh, it is of the form password so i'll have to change this to string so i'm changing it to string by this uh, using this new string keyword and then i'm taking the uh, like username this username uh, input over this in, in this username okay so the inputted like uh, the admin admin or the user uh, who enters his password or uh, username will be stored in this um, pswrd and username okay then uh, we will be passing one query uh, the query will be select password from admin where user id is username okay this username uh, this actually this uh, statement is going to be like um, put into the mysql over there uh, it will be done by the netbeam by this connection that we are creating okay so to check whether the uh, whether the person is uh, like uh, authorized to log in into the account or not to check that we will be passing this query in the mysql uh, and by this we will be checking whether the password that is stored in the database is same as to the uh, password gi given by the uh, user okay so only if the password and the username matches then only he will be allowed to like log in otherwise he'll uh, get a message that uh, either the username or the password is wrong okay so that's why i've just uh, stored the query over uh, in this uh, variable query uh, and then i'll try i'll have two blocks try and catch okay as you can see this is the try catch uh, so, uh, try block and uh, this is the catch block so I'm using this because uh, we are creating like uh, a connection over here and uh, there might be some you know uh, runtime issues so to in order to avoid that uh, I'm using try and catch over here okay so it's a good practice to like uh, do the main coding in a try block and uh, the, and we should give a catch block as well okay so here connection uh con is equals to driver manager uh, dot get connection and this is the url that we are passing over here the this url and then mysql user this uh, user account name so in my case it is root and the password okay so actually these three uh, things will be like uh, given to this and uh, according to these three inputs okay uh, we will be like uh, able to make the connections then uh, we'll use one statement stm is it goes to con dot create statement okay so this is used to create the statement like uh, um, it is uh, like necessary to create a statement and uh, after that uh, we use the result set uh, again this rs is a variable in which uh, the stm dot first see this stm dot execute query execute query is a function which is used to execute the query in mysql okay so this query we will pass this query uh, in this we could have like written this directly over here we can do that as well but to keep things simple we have already stored it into query uh, and uh, we are passing that query over here you can see over here so this query is 
like uh, passed and uh, the result would be uh, stored in this rs then uh, after that we'll check if rs dot next this returns true or false okay. so if like uh, what this function does is it goes to the uh, next row okay so if there is a next row then it will work otherwise it, uh, it won't work okay so if rs dot next uh, then we'll go into this block okay that is uh, uh, in case like uh, for example this user id we are giving correct password from admin where user id is username in case this username is not present in the table then, then we won't get any output in that case uh, this would be like uh, checking that the, it won't be moving to any other uh, row because uh, there won't be any of the matching uh, username so it won't go to any other row and so this block will not be executed and then we'll come to the else uh, part so first let, let's check this part okay so uh, yeah so string real password is equal to rs dot get string so we we have the result in this rs okay so we need to get that string okay uh, this is the column name this is the column name uh, okay uh, the password field that let me show you in the books table sorry in the admin admin table uh, there we have one column as password okay so we are getting the like we are taking the uh, string that, uh, that is present in this password field uh, that is uh, like stored into the rs so uh, we'll get that into this real password then we'll check whether this real password is equal to the password inputted by the user okay so only if it is like equal to the um, the password that is uh, provided by the user only then uh, we will move to the dashboard so if it is true then will we have created one dashboard uh, like one object of the dashboard class like we uh, we have created this dashboard okay so we are creating one object of this dashboard here and we'll uh, do this dsh dot set visible true that is we are moving from this part to the uh, to that uh, dashboard okay so we'll be changing the frame so that that's why we are uh, using this and here this is the uh, this dot dispose this uh, function will like uh, dispose this present login page because once we uh, we have logged in we don't want that previous login page uh, like that j frame so we'll just remove that so once this is done uh, we will uh, dispose this okay and we'll move to the dashboard so yeah and uh, the else part now uh, if suppose uh, the password is wrong it's not matching to the password that is present in the database so then we will be like showing one message that uh, yeah the password is wrong okay either the username or the password is wrong so we have used this i've used this uh, function j option pane dot show message dialog okay uh, and over here we need to do this get this uh, this and this is the class this specifies the class in which uh, it is uh, like present so this class and uh, uh, the message that we need to pass okay so the username or password entered is wrong and uh, then if suppose the the username was not present in the in the table okay so in that case we'll be moving to the else part where again we will show one message that j option page dot show message dialog uh, this uh, the wrong username okay so the username is wrong so we'll be showing this and then the strat block is uh, like completed so we'll go to the catch block and over here again we'll show one message uh, as uh, and we'll take this as the key this is the exception okay uh, exception and this is the object e so e dot get message it will automatically print one uh, suitable message 
to the user uh, accordingly okay so yeah this was the whole code now let's see the demonstration part i'll just run it see this is the username uh, the username was let me just show you once the username was satish at the rate one two three uh, and password was satish one two three four five four three two one okay i'll just put it over here and let's check whether it works or not so satish at the rate one two three and the password is satish one two three four five four three two one and just log in so you can see uh, we have come to the dashboard okay and the login page you can see that we uh, we can't see the login page so login page has been uh, disposed and we have moved to the dashboard now we have the options over here that we need to uh, like perform so right now it's not working any of the buttons because we haven't given any code to it uh, so in the next video will be like uh, giving uh, codes for these buttons so let me show you once again uh, the demonstration uh, first of all, suppose if i take a wrong username uh, suppose uh, anything savio and uh, uh, password uh, i'll take uh, one two three four five okay see it shows a message that uh, wrong user okay and uh, in case the correct username and i give a wrong password suppose anything this five six seven eight nine zero and I'll try to log in. It shows the message username or password entered is wrong. Okay, so yeah, so this much for this video. And uh, in the next video, we will we will be moving forward to this. We will be working on these things. Uh, okay, so yeah.